Meanwhile, Florida's top cops say a ring of fraudsters took potentially dozens of luxury car buyers in Tampa Bay for a ride. 23 have been arrested so far in an investigation that spanned five years. Fox 13's Evan Axelbain explains how they were caught. This is Ray Smell Cruz, but Florida Department of Law Enforcement says that might depend on which day you ask him. When we seized his cell phone, we located over 76,000 pictures of driver's licenses, VIN numbers, vehicles. Detectives say Cruz was the ringleader of a group of two dozen who sought luxury cars for sale. They'd buy them with bogus checks and then allegedly turn around to an unsuspecting customer and sell a car that might retail for six figures for just $15,000. If the deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Detectives say Cruz and his team were so good at hiding where their cars came from that they'd doctor the VIN numbers, build fake titles, and pretend to be other people as they sold the cars. One of the suspects had 159 cars registered to him. They'd even take rentals from the airport as if they were theirs to sell. We've all bought a car in our lifetime. It takes all day to buy a car, and that's because of people like this. And I think because there's so many different aspects to it and different paperwork and this title, that sale, all the paperwork involved gives these fraudsters every opportunity to create new paperwork. It took FDLE five years to nail it all down. That's 12,000 man hours to compile 700 investigative reports. FDLE seized at least 12 vehicles as part of their hunt that started thanks to a tip in 2018. All those cars that they sold, we didn't get any of that money for that, for taxes and those things of that nature. So yeah, it's, the victims are Florida, citizens, insurance companies, um, rental car companies. Cruz's next ride could be to jail for 100 plus years if he's convicted on organized crime charges. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. To avoid falling victim to a scam like this, the Attorney General says you should do your research. It's never been easier to look up the fair price of a vehicle. She also says anyone who wants cash and wants to make the deal quickly, that could be suspicious. And be sure to check the quality of the VIN number in the door jam of the vehicle. If it seems to have been done cheaply, it might have been forged.